those eight nine-year-old students accused of plotting revenge on their third grade teacher. Police say the kids brought a knife and handcuffs to school with intent to use them. But the nine-year-old girl at the center of the story says they never intended to harm their teacher. Nine third graders caught after allegedly plotting to attack their teacher. When police found the students on a tip from another classmate, they seized weapons that could have done serious harm. A knife, a crystal paperweight, a pair of gloves, toy handcuffs, and more. The reason for the plot? The teacher had punished one of the children for standing on a chair the day before, and they supposedly wanted payback. I think the teacher had what she called a timeout table in the back, and she was asked to go to the timeout table. That was as simple as it was. Investigators believe the nine boys and girls, all between ages 8 and 10, divvied up tasks in order to carry out the plan. One would cover up the window, while another would clean up the mess. Some might say they were young and they were in the third grade and how serious could it be, but we obviously have to take that very seriously. Three of the students have been charged with assault crimes and all nine were suspended. The teacher has now returned to school. Colleagues say she's very sad. The details, of course, are uh, overwhelming, but did the authorities there in Georgia overreact? A few moments ago, I talked to Tamani Ad Adams, who unwittingly sparked the alleged plot when her teacher punished her for standing on a chair. Tamani was not involved in the plot, but she was suspended from school for 30 days for knowing about it, but not telling anyone. We were also joined by Tamani's grandmother, Cheryl Kitchen, and their attorney, Lenny Darden. First of all, thank you all for joining us this morning. We, we appreciate it very much. And Tamani, I'm going to start with you first. Take us back to when this first started. We understand that your teacher disciplined you for standing on a chair. Can you tell us what happened? I got up to pull up my pants. I didn't stand up in my chair. I um, got out my chair to pull up my pants. I stand beside my chair, but I didn't get up in my chair. But she thought that you did and she gave you a timeout? Yes, ma'am. So what happens when you get a timeout? Um, she take, she tell us to go um, to the corner, and she might let us lose recess. Now we understand that some of your friends in the class um, they were upset that you got in trouble like this. Why did they Why did they get so upset? Because they thought that um, that. I had got in trouble and they got mad at Miss Carter. What did you hear? They said that they wanted to hurt Miss Carter. You heard them say that? That they wanted to hurt her? Yes. Yes. Did they tell you exactly how they wanted to do that? No. Why didn't you tell anybody? Because I was scared. What were you scared of? I might get in trouble. Mm. Mr. Darden, three students, one yes. has been charged with aggravated assault, two have been charged with conspiracy to commit aggravated assault. I know that you, are, you believe that this is a bit excessive. Why? Well, I've, I've not stated uh, my belief that the charges on those children that have been charged are excessive. What we're talking about is the fact that uh, Tamani was uh, disciplined by the school in exactly the same way as the children that brought various things to the school to harm the teacher. And we think that's some disparate treatment for her to receive 30 days uh, suspension, which effectively means this ends her school year and the possibility of, of her graduating to fourth grade. Uh, that's disparate and that's the treatment that we're uh, protesting today. Ms. Kitchen, you're taking care of your granddaughter while her mother is yes. overseas uh, serving uh, in the military and I know this has been a very difficult time. Uh, it's made headlines all across the country. How's your family doing with all this? We are praying and hoping this situation will get, in, you know, will get over and, and the truth it will be told uh, about the situation. And what do you believe the truth to be in this situation? It was just, basically, it was just a prank. Those, uh, to my understanding, those kids was just going to throw pies at her. 
just going, is that true, Tamani? It was just going to throw pies at your teacher? Yes, ma'am. Um, when we hear about one of the students bringing a knife and we saw tape and gloves, how did that all come into play? The girls was going to um, cut the knife, the girl cut the tape, cut the tape with the knife. The knife to cut the tape? Not to hurt your teacher? Yes, yes ma'am. So, Mr. Darden, you know, these kids, have, have they ever been in trouble? Well, the reports we received from the press initially that this was a special ed education class or that these were troubled children is absolutely false. And uh, uh, Tamani herself is an uh, A-B student. Um, it seems uh, strange to me that 10 out of 10 children would be angry enough to try to harm the teacher. And uh, the families just want to know what happened. Uh, why did the children uh, decide to do something like this? They wanted to know why would they behave like this, and uh, we're not getting any answers from the school system. Well, Ms. Kitchen, Lenny Darden, and Tamani, thank you so much for being with us this morning, and we certainly appreciate hearing from you. Thank you all so much. And thank, thank you. you. In a flash, be the first to know what's coming up on Good Morning America tomorrow with the GMA Daily Flash email. All the great insider details you want to know from GMA. Go to abcnews.com, click the GMA page, and sign up for the Daily Flash. And you can even enter to win the weekly GMA Flash gift bag giveaway. Sign up now.